in context of the current situation that is unfolding in Asham, Bilad Asham, and Bilad Asham is what we know as Lebanon and Jordan and Palestine and Al-Aqsa Al-Mubarak and Syria. This is all considered to us as Asham. We don't believe in these little countries and borders that the post-colonial world drew themselves. This is not something that, is, that we are proud of. Rather, we are proud of Bilad Asham. Nabi Sallallahu said, Allahumma barik lana fi shamina. That Allah bless us in our sham, our sham. And that is everything from Palestine, Al-Aqsa Al-Mubarak, to Lebanon, and to Jordan and Syria, and the people and the believers that are within those lands. But I want to make a few comments on this. And I'm not, again, a scholar. I do not claim to be somebody who is of uh, knowledge that you, I'm going to tell you what are the solutions or I'm going to rather give you the rulings but I can give you some general guidelines in the fitna that we are facing today in the confusion that is happening in the Muslim world the first thing that I want to remind you and I remind myself of Al-Muslimuna tatakafa'u dima'uhum Rasulullah Sallallahu said the Muslims their blood is one Wallahi al-Azim there's no difference to us the blood of the Palestinian in Gaza is of same and equal value to the blood of our brother in Sudan and the blood of our sister in Lebanon or in Bangladesh or anywhere in the world wherever they are for us their blood is one we don't look to their skin color we don't look to what language they speak but we truly believe that their blood is one Al-Muslimuna tatakafa'u dima'uhum 